One of my favorite all-time two and a half inch builds is the Catalyst Machine Works Massive Droner. Uh, this thing is a flying tank. I've literally flown this into a fence post at about 35, 40 miles an hour. And the only thing I broke was this front strut that uh, I replaced. But this frame is really durable and this thing flies great. Uh, Catalyst Machine Works came out with the um, three inch version that's the HD, that's really designed for the DJI uh, Vista slash Cadex um, DJI system. You know, it's the lighter version of the standard air unit. I thought, wow, I really want to build this. So um, I've used uh, this flight stack in some of my prior builds. So I'm gonna be using the iFlight Sussex D Mini F7 Twig. Um, so the, uh, it's an F7 and, uh, the ESCs are, uh, 40 amp two through six S. Um, this is going to be a, uh, four S build. And then also I really like the iFlight, uh, these iFlight Zing motors. It's the, uh, 1408, 3600 KV. Um, I've used these also on, uh, other builds that I've done. And I really, uh, like the way how smooth they are and they're very efficient. Uh, then lastly, of course, I have, uh, you know, I like putting on some buzzers um, just on these smaller microbes, um, however, the three, three inch and down, I really think it's important to have a buzzer on so I can find them in tall grass. So, and then also, I also use them on five inch builds too. So I always put a buzzer on. So it's gonna be another one of my abbreviated builds where I just go through basic steps and, uh, Hopefully uh, this will be something that uh, you guys will like watching. Soldered up the pigtail. You can see that here as well as the uh, low ESR capacitor. And then I installed the rubber grommets. As far as what I'm using for the uh, stack itself, I'm using these 20 millimeter high M2 uh, screws here. And then I put um, some nylon nuts. You can see there um, to hold them in place. And that gives me a little height uh, for the uh, capacitor and pigtail to come out the bottom here. What it looks like installed on the um, stack screws. Next up, soldering up the motor wires. So just real quickly, uh, the red buzzer lead goes to the second, to the end pad here. And then uh, buzz minus is this uh, pad right here, which is the last pad. See, I added another a set of uh, nuts just as spacers in to secure the ESC. Looks like with the flight controller on top of the ESC. Double-sided sticky tape for the buzzer. So the wiring is pretty straightforward. They have a good uh, diagram here for the wiring. Uh, but just quickly, red is VCC, uh, black is power ground, uh, yellow is UART RX, white is UART TX, black is uh, signal ground, and then yellow is S bus. Boys, Catalyst Machine Works has a very clever designs. I think it turned out uh, quite nice. You can see I have the Vista unit installed. I have the VTX antenna tie wrap down. I think it uh, looks really slick and uh, it's a very clean build. One thing I did want to mention, I did flip the uh, Vista unit upside down. You can see that there's not really an upside down or a right side up. It, it doesn't really matter, but um, oriented with the uh, USB-C connector um, coming down is the best way. Otherwise, uh, this uh, frame here will block your access to the USB-C connector. I forgot to mention, I did put some Uma grip on the bottom here. Take it out on its maiden flight. Let's get a weight, 178 grams. Without a battery, putting a 650 milliamp hour battery on here, 4S. We're coming in at uh, 246, so four grams underneath the uh, um, 250 gram mark. So here are my thoughts on the Massive Droner HD build. Uh, starting with the build difficulty, I would say a beginner should be able to do this build as there is minimal soldering. And the soldering you do have to do involves soldering on larger pads. Uh, on the flight controller, 
Uh, the other than the buzzer, the only uh, soldering uh, that is required is soldering on the motor wires uh, to the uh, 4-in-1 ESC because the wire harness coming off the Vista plugs directly into the iFlight controller. Um, also on the 4-in-1 ESCs, they also have large soldering pads, so that shouldn't be an issue for a beginner. Uh, the frame assembly is relatively easy, and there's a good frame build video from Catalyst Machine Works that I'll link below. So moving on to the frame design, I like that the Vista unit can be swung up by just removing these two bolts. And uh, from my past experience with the massive droner analog, it should take a beating. On the, ele on the electronics, the iFlight Sussex D Mini F7 Twig uh, with the 40 amp 32 bit 4 in 1 ESCs um, is a great little stack in value at $76 because you're getting an F7 uh, flight controller. And this is probably my favorite um, flight controller stack for 3 inch builds. Uh, on the motors, the, uh, I picked the uh, iFlight Zing 1408 3600 KV motors. They might not be the most powerful motors out there, but they are smooth, efficient, and which I prefer for my type of park flying. On the props, um, I have these HQ 3x4x3 V1S uh, tri-blade tri props. Um, they are relatively quiet. They are also smooth and have good bite in corners. And again, it fits my park flying needs. So as far as overall flight performance, the center of gravity and thrust um, lines up right in the center of the, um, seems to be right in the center of the frame. So I think that's what uh, helps with the handling characteristics of this build. Um, also, I think um, it does fly more like a freestyle than I expected being a bottom mount battery. And I think that's because the Vista is up here at the top. So it kind of reduces the pendulum effect when you for the battery being at the bottom. So that's nice. And uh, so uh, I actually did load uh, Betaflight 4.2, Release Candidate 2, other than turning on RPM filtering and uh, changing the filter settings when you turn on uh, RPM filtering. I left all the other uh, PIDs alone at default and I, it flew great just, again, with just default PIDs. So would I recommend this build? I would say if you're looking for a three inch basher with DJI quality video, I think this build hits the mark. Um, I will show you a short maiden flight. And uh, as always, thanks for watching my channel.